when you put a young person before the youth court, uh, it often is a start of a trajectory toward criminal offending. The longer you can hold off, and the more tolerant you can, <laughs> you know, be towards those those young people, the less likely they are to become adult criminals. Appearing before the court is harmful for a child who doesn't understand the nature of their act. They may not have the maturity and the brain development to have worked that one out. We still have 17-year-olds uh, appearing before the adult court, whereas internationally it's usually 18-year-old at least. Children's rights are not really visible at all within the justice system. And when you look at the government's record in the last six years, um, they've introduced, I think, 13 pieces of legislation which breached the Bill of Rights. And 11 of those pieces of legislation are about uh, prisoners or offenders, including children. And so the government is not as concerned about human rights or children's rights especially than it was, say, 10 years ago. 60% of the children in state care are Māori. 70% of the children in child welfare institutions are Māori. About 90% of those children that have been in state care ended up in prison as adults. So we have absolutely failed uh, our children in terms of the quality of that care. Prisons are no longer really about rehabilitation, they're about public safety. And so, you know, you listen to the parole board decisions are about saying we're not releasing you because you present a risk to public safety. What they don't acknowledge is that prison is in itself a cause of crime. The evidence is really clear the longer you spend in prison, the more likely to you are to reoffend when you leave. I think the middle class and the politicians, government representatives, have less concern for the vulnerable is because they're not in that socioeconomic class themselves. So it would be really helpful, I think, if we could make sure that every MP that was elected spent the first month of his time in prison and experienced it, and then they might have a different approach.